Hey, welcome to Performance Reviews, where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. Please excuse my voice today, as I am a little bit under the weather, but I decided to unbox this and hopefully put this on my truck today. And I didn't see a lot of videos discussing the Warren winch and what you get. Most of them were from like dealers or, you know, people who were just trying to sell it. So after much research and I really don't like to fuck around when it comes to my truck and self-recovery and anything we might be doing out in the middle of nowhere. I need my equipment to work 100% of the time. So that's one of the reasons I went with Warren over some of the other brands. Also, I don't have a power takeoff on my particular truck. So because I have a uh, 2021 Nissan Frontier, it's a very small truck, this seemed to be the appropriate option. So I want to just unbox this, show you what you get. All right. Well, we are greeted with a bevy of manuals and a quick start manual with tools and stuff. So right away, it looks like the documentation is pretty good. It's a pretty thick battery cable. Um, and we're greeted with some small boxes. Let's see what's inside these real quick. I think that is, all right, well, that's nice. That will probably get replaced with one of the third party aluminum ones. We have some hardware. Let's see what's in the next box. We have some heavy, uh, heavy power cable. We have the winch remote itself. Which... Okay, so this is, I believe this is one model that can be wired or, yep, wired or wireless. That was one of the features I thought was kind of cool. Uh, so I could do operate this in theory inside the truck as well. Um, or if something is absolutely not working you can just connect this. So I really like that. That was one of the selling features I had forgotten about, but I'm really glad to see. And just a note, when I was doing the research to buy this, it was like a year ago. It took them maybe six to eight months to build my bumper. And I also bought the winch from the company who built my bumper. So shout out to Hefty Fab Works. Oh, it looks like this is the piece I really was curious. All right, so we just have a piece of metal here. There's no rollers on this. So that might be something if you're doing a lot of winching, you replace. Also with the synthetic cable, maybe it's not necessary. All right, the winch itself. Nice, really nice foam. Uh, these are like memory foam or something. Probably save those and use those for another project. Let's grab the winch itself out of the box. Ooh. Yeah, heavy sucker. Well, that's everything you get in the box. The manual, the winch remote, the wireless slash wired winch controller, our uh, plate, some bolts, the hook, and a ground cable. I have to say, the cable's already attached, and that was one of the things I wasn't certain upon buying this. And I'm really glad to see that attached. I was not looking forward to having to do that. The winch control, and this thing is a hefty beast. And you can see it mounts with these four bolts under here. Just turn her over. So yeah, you got these four mounting bolts. So that's how she mounts. Again, this is a synthetic cable. So yeah, maybe that's why we don't need the uh, rollers on this from the factory because of that synthetic cable. Uh, comment below if you know that. So removing the uh, electronics from the winch is really simple. You take these four six millimeter bolts out and then four four millimeter bolts come out. They have nice instructions that show you how to do that. It's really easy to do. My particular zip tie was nice and loose, so I'm able to even reuse that to put that in place. And then for me, my particular installation, I have a uh, bracket I'll be using with my bumper, but I wanted to just show how easy that was to do. And everything was lined up and stuff still. So again, super simple. I, I really appreciate 
how easy Warren has made all this. I really wish the Warren sticker was straight though on this. So here's what the winch looks like in my particular application. Okay, one thing that you have to do with this is you want to unspool it and re-spool it with some tension of your vehicle. And I'm going to do that real quick. I used a pretty crowded parking lot, but not on the busy end of the parking lot. I should have gone to a different parking lot. I had somebody try to cross the line right in the middle of me doing this. So just heads up if you are going to do this. And I found upon doing this, the winch remote actually worked past the 90 feet of the winch. I probably had it 120 feet from the vehicle when I first started. So the remote really works far. I was really impressed with that. Little note about the winch remote. Uh, so I'm really pleased with the grip. Um, the button's a little bit hard to hit with gloves, but it's not bad. Overall, I'm really pleased with my Warren winch purchase. I did replace the shackle immediately with one of those aftermarket ones from Amazon. The aluminum shackle just fits a little bit better and a little bit more out of the way. I'll put a link below to that. I've actually tested it a few times now. It does hold the weight of the truck and it is one of the trustworthy things from China. So I am going to put a link below to that. And a, uh, another piece of recovery gear I also bought that I show in this video briefly. Um, so if you want to support the channel, definitely click on the links below. If you're interested in our more normal vacuum related content, check out one of these videos. I do unboxing videos and vacuum tests as well. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a wonderful day.